Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create this four color gradient text in Adobe Premiere Pro, and it's gonna have a stroke on it, which is usually something you can't do when you apply the effect. So let's get started. First thing I did was import some footage from my course. If you're interested in learning Premiere Pro in a tutorial-based way, so you start with small tutorials and you slowly build up to like 3D things, check out the link in the description below. Once I imported my footage, I went ahead and went to the text right here, and I just wrote out some text. Uh, I, in this situation, use, let's go ahead and start this over. I use Rave, Ra, uh, Ravi text right here. It's in a, uh, I believe it's a standard font, but if it isn't, you can add Adobe or you can find your own. Anything big works. Show card Gothic would work for this. I just went with it because it has sort of more of a fun vibe to it. So now we can just type in our text. And as you can see, it's written right here. Make sure that you go down into the stroke and you make it as big or as small as you want. You can make it bold and stuff if that's applied to the text itself. A lot of them don't have that bold style. Anyway, once it's written, we're going to go over to our effects, go down to generate, and we're going to look for four color gradient. We're going to drag and drop that straight onto the text. And you're going to see the effect is applied up here, as well as over in the motion graphics template. It's going to choose four different colors to apply here, and you can affect those colors. It's going to be color one, then over here is color two, color three, color four. And if you bring them closer, you can sort of change around the vibe. What's also cool is if you wanted to make this like a fun uh, moving color, you can animate one of the points. And then whenever you go through, for example, we could then take this point and drag it across. And you'll see that we now have a color animation where the color changes over time. So that's something fun you can do. Once you have your colors, though, we need to add the stroke in. To do that, go back to your essential graphics panel on the right, right click on Las Vegas, duplicate that, drag it beneath the footage here. And then we're going to take this bottom layer. And we're just going to add a stroke onto it. And you're going to see immediately, it's going to make it all the same color. So to fix that, there's this button right here called create group. We click on that button. And then now we go up to the group, drag that up top. And what we want in this group is one of the texts and the effects. So we're going to drive the four color gradient in there. And then one of the text, if you just drag it, you want it to highlight right like so. And you're going to see that the color is now back to normal. But now when we increase this stroke, we have the stroke of whatever the color is. The reason being is this applies to everything beneath it that's inside of a group. If it's not inside of a group, it just applies to everything beneath it. Well, now with the group enabled, it only applies to one layer. And then the bottom layer, we actually have the text. Now, what if we wanted to move this text? The problem is we they're now separated. So to fix that case, what we can do is we can either select both of them by clicking on one, holding the control key, kicking the other. But I like to make things simple. So I'm going to hit create another group. We're going to drag this group into that and then this text into that group. And essentially, all it's going to do is move it under one giant layer. Now, all we got to do is click on group four and we can just move the text wherever we want. You see one of them will lag behind, but that only happens for a half second. Also notice that wherever you move these, um, the text will be affected by the four points of color, slightly different. So you can see that the color is changing as I move it around. But overall, that is how you create this effect. You can animate it, you can have it come in with an animation and then do this, but it, it looks cool. And it's a very quick way to make an awesome title in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and thumb in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you would like to check out my course, it is in the link below in the description. It is a fantastic course, at least I think so, uh, where I base it off of tutorial learning. So you're not just reading books or going over the theory of things. Every single lesson is a tutorial that you can create with an end product. And by the end of it, you'll have created so many things that you will know this program by heart. Thanks, everyone. And until next time, see ya.